There was a YouTuber that was talking about Tomba, and in Europe it was called Tombi, but I'm pretty sure that it was called Tomba in both North America and Japan. Uh, don't ring and, uh, and what was that? It doesn't ring a bell. But yeah, the reason why I brought it up was there was this one YouTuber that was saying Tombi is the definitive name and Tomba is a stupid name, and I'm like, pretty sure Tomba was the name from America and Japan. But whatever. What the fuck is a Tomba? It's a pink-haired dude. Oh. Even though this game is uh, technically an RPG, it's a uh, side-scroller platformer. But it plays very similar to an RPG. It's like, does it want to be a side-scroller action game? Does it want to be an RPG? Why is my mic so loud? I don't get it. I'm gonna have to check the stream later. For some reason, my mic is... I'm gonna have to turn my mic down just a little bit because... It's picking up a lot of white noise, which it doesn't normally do. I don't know. So anyway, stream is live. I turned the game up. Your voice down a little. Maybe. No, I'm just testing the audio sync because I need to make sure that the game is synced with my audio. seems to be just fine. Uh, hold on though, I need to check something with Twitch. Apparently there's something with Twitch settings that allows you to change the quality. Let's see here. have low latency. Fuck it. Okay, so I heard recently that there was a setting with Twitch that allows you to reduce the latency and make it almost real time. That way you can communicate with people in real time, but it lowers the quality. Well, yeah, that's just it, is... I know the technology exists for you to be able to stream in real time, but the reason why they don't has to do with, uh... rights... right issues, like copyrights, I forget. But, um... Somebody told me that you can set Twitch to stream in real time, but it reduces the quality. I just checked it. I already have it set to low latency, and there's still, like, 
five ten seconds delay. Um, so yeah, I just set it to normal. I'll just see if I'll check later, see if it's any different. Anyway, welcome to Tomba. This game's pretty great. the fog. Have you guys ever been curious how to clear a fog storm? No. Hmm. Well, I've got good news for you. Because I know how to clear a fog storm. You ever see a cloud of buzzing bees buzzing around a mailbox? All you gotta do is um, take that cloud of buzzing bees and then you throw it into the fog storm, and that's how you clear a fog storm. game is so absurd. I just pulled the tornado out of my pocket. I mean, Link can pull bombs out of his ass. funny is um there's a part in Grand Theft Auto 5 when you're talking to a secret agent and he says something like you ever play one of those video games where somebody pulls a rocket launcher out of their back pocket and people are like where's he hiding that thing clearly it's never worked in a prison especially when it comes to dealing with lifers
somebody who has a life sentence, the amount of things they can hide in their ass. such a classic. This is a PS1 game. I feel like I should be commenting on it more, though. Like that guy hiding in the shadows just now, that's his kid. I forget his name. Wait, he has I think his name's some... Pink hair, he has a child. No, that's not his kid, that's uh, this kid. I think his name is Yan. Because he likes to eat yams. Alright, later. Use bananas. fell in the water. So, you want to know what's really funny about this game? Throughout the game, you meet these wise men, and they're all sorted by age. Like, here, in the beginning of the game, you meet the 100-year-old wise man. Pretty cool, he's 100 years old, that's pretty old, right? Well, later on, later on, you meet a guy named the 1,000-year-old wise man. Somehow, he's 1,000 years old. But he warns you, because the next man you're going to meet is the 10,000-year-old wise man. There he is, the 100-year-old wise man. There's a lot of talking in this game. But at the end of the game, you meet the 1 million-year-old wise man, and he is the one who tells you about the origin of the evil pigs. and the evil pigs seem to be collecting gold. I bet your grandpa's bracelet that was stolen by the coma pigs was made out of gold, too. The seven evil pigs are hiding somewhere in this world. If you find them, I'm sure you'll be able to find your bracelet as well. Just oh, yeah. Remember, be very careful. One thing that's kind of disappointing is the absolute cop-out of an ending this game has. Oh. They, they allude to there's a mystery 
for some reason the evil pigs are collecting gold. But what are they collecting gold for? It's a mystery. It must be solved. And, um, in the end it turned out he was just collecting gold. Because he likes gold. Like, I was, I was hoping for something like gold was, like, the secret ingredient for some... Some evil magic spell. I mean, or something. probably, maybe. Maybe. Oh yeah, me with my dyslexia back in my childhood. Is there called charity wings? But I thought that they were called charcoal wings. I've, I've been such a dyslexic my whole life. Hey, pups. What? Hey, 
Did I just hear a sound effect coming from your end? Probably. I'm just trying to make sure the game audio is not too loud. Fuck, this game's unforgiving. Like certain levels of Donkey Kong Country. Yeah. Yeah, this game is almost... I, I would say Donkey Kong Country is, a uh, harder, but this game does have its difficult moments. My sister's really good at it. I have Donkey Kong Country, too. I wouldn't mind playing that sometime. I don't know, I feel like I, I would kind of prefer to play it with someone, though. Because um, that, that game's fun Country to play. Donkey 2 is a pain in my fucking ass. Yeah, it is. It's not, definitely not an easy game. Well, there's just that one water level with, like, a shit of sorts. Acid. It's, it's weird. Yeah. I think my chai tea is almost ready. Ah, fucking pigs. I was gonna say I'm gonna get up on the computer and all right. jams and then I'll uh, tune back in. Alright, I'll probably do some more commentary. Yeah, probably just on uh, Twitch though. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put my stream up. What did I just click on? I know, I'm back in a bit. Alright, okay. Streamlabs can be a funny thing sometimes. Okay. Okay. What the hell, woman? I got this puppy. I would really prefer if you would be quiet. Where'd that fucking kid go? Come on. Throw me a frickin' bone here. No, don't run away, pup. Pups, McGruff. Damn it.
Should be doing more commentary. Oh, okay, last dwarf. Yay! Telescope's doing all the way up there. Yeah, everyone looks so excited right now. Where'd they get all this energy? Oh wait, wasn't it this girl? Yeah. That's the girl that needs the puppy. I'm gonna go save the puppy before I talk to the elder. I think my chai tea is ready. I'm gonna pour some... Pour some sugar on me. I'm hot, sticky, sweet. There's my chai. And I'm going to, uh, take some honey. Don't look so bored, Tomba. I know you want this too. You want this just as much as me. Crotch is so sweaty right now, honey. Do you like that pickup line? Do you like that? Yeah? Do you like me talking about that? I know. I'm very aroused as well. Puppy time. Time to die, piggy. 
Puppy. Why would I want to rescue this puppy? He escaped and went all the way back up there and got hurt again. Gotta wait for my tea to cool. I need milk. Baron. I have to go all the way to Mount Phoenix to get the healing herbs? Damn, son. want to deal with that fucker. They just keep him in prison down there? For how long, I wonder.
What a fucking tool. Where's the other one? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah. These guys. Oh my god, these guys. Ah! battles. Okay. Let's just do this first. World's greatest smile. Cure myself of this crying sickness. You tricked me. This game is really hard in the beginning. Okay, let's go back to boss battling this stupid squid. <sighs> no wonder you fuckers are extinct.
die. Get anything? Rise and shine powder. That's, uh... Oh, right. There's a sleep... Oh, but I need to... Fuck this game. to Phoenix Mountain. This level. This guy's not a mouse person, he's uh, just a digger. Those are the most disturbing plants in the whole game. Okay. Now here comes some tricky jumps because it's a fucking. Oh. Ah! Okay. Before I ride the Phoenix. Actually, wait, no, I have to ride the Phoenix here, don't I? the phoenix.
the mouse city. I like this place. These mouse people are pretty cool. I like them. So among these mouse people, there is a real mouse. What a mystery. Real mouse. Found the baby mouse. Drink for grown ups. You have to break every single one of these eggs. It's funny, when I first did this, I didn't know why I was breaking all these eggs. All I knew is that, you know, you could break them. Oh my god, I don't want to navigate the mansion. I need to find a guide for that. That wasn't a pipe. So it's pumping water to the winery?
I wasn't going that way, you silly looking freak. Okay. <sighs> Guess I have to do the mansion. I don't want to do it, but I guess that's next. Oh, hi. Sorry, I, I can never remember anybody's Twitch name. Oh, hey, yeah, Spyro. I don't know anybody's Twitch name. Oh, oh, it's your first time here? That's funny, it's because your name's Spyro Addict. I just finished playing Spyro. I thought you were playing a prank on me. Yeah, I get a, a lot of my friends come here and they, uh, I, I am no good with remembering Twitch names. Yeah, I ran into some trouble trying to play Spyro 3, because um, I don't own a physical copy of the PS1 game. So I got it on the PSN store for my PlayStation 3, and turns out it's buggy. Like, I was running into all kinds of issues, so I decided to play the remake. The remake is also kind of buggy, and it was giving me motion sickness, so... Yeah, I kind of stopped after playing Spyro 2. But now I'm playing this. Tomba, it's a game that came out around the same time as Spyro the Dragon. Yeah, the remake is pretty good. It's just... Yeah. Yeah, Spyro and Tomba are both really good games from the PS1 library. Um, funnily enough, is uh, those were the first two games I ever bought with my own money. I think I, I was like 11 or something, and I bought both of them with my own money. Yeah, Tomba's a hidden gem. And uh, sadly enough, Tomba 2 has kind of been ruined by... Um... Did you ever see that one live stream where they were speedrunning it and the one guy's doing running commentary and the guy playing is like, I would really prefer if you'd be quiet. Yeah, now anytime somebody talks about Tomba 2, that's the only thing anyone can ever talk about. Is that quote? Like, look up any Tomba 2 video on YouTube, and you're gonna see that quote somewhere in the comment section. Let's 
right, so let's see. This is where the Firestone is down here. Yep, not enough experience. Tomba 2 is great. I haven't played it in such a long time, but... You know when, uh... You know when you've got memories from your childhood, and every now and then you want to go back down memory lane to see, was it as good as you remembered? Uh, I looked up some videos of Tomba 2 recently. I haven't played it in a long time, but yeah, it's, uh... It's just as good as I remembered it. My memory's been pretty awful lately, but yeah, Tomba 2... It's exactly as I remembered it from when I played it. Now, the the graphics didn't really age well, but to be completely frank, the graphics were not all that good when the game was new. Like, there was other PS1 games that had better graphics than Tomba 2 at the time it had come out. The voice acting aged pretty okay, I think, in Tomba 2. Um, which was interesting, because when that game came out, it was still a time when voice acting wasn't super common in video games. And then almost every line of dialogue in Tomba 2 was voiced, which was unique. I probably should have listened to what that guy had to say. Oh, small key acquired, cool. Yeah, given the time, uh, it's like the voice acting in the Star Fox games, in Star Fox 64, uh, simply having voices in video games when Star Fox 64 was such a new thing, it blew people's minds just the fact that it had voice acting. Looking at it now, the voice acting is not great, but given the time it had come out, voice acting was still such a novel thing to have in video games. And it was the same for uh, Tom, but... Uh, Tomba 2 is like given Tomba 1 doesn't have any voice acting except for like one of the cutscenes because there's a couple cutscenes but the only one that has voice acting is the one with the old man so virtually there's no voice acting in Tomba 1 and there was a lot of other games that came out around the same time that also didn't have voice acting like say all the Final Fantasy games Final Fantasy didn't have voice acting until Final Fantasy 10 so yeah, even though voice acting existed, it still wasn't all that common. I get so lost in this mansion, I can never remember my way around. Yeah, fully voiced. It was like, uh... It was ahead of its time. It was before Skyrim having every line of dialogue fully voiced. Yeah, I'd have to think about that. I think the only characters that don't speak are the ones that you kill. Even some of the ones that you kill speak. Sadly enough, when I played Tomba 2 back in the day, I uh, never made it far enough to beat any of the evil pigs. But yeah, these Tomba games are so intricate that it's like, it's hard to really even, like, I don't know how many hours I spent playing this game. Because when I first beat this game, I beat it without a guide when I was a little kid. It was back when um, the using the internet to look up guides wasn't common yet. 
so you had to get those game magazines from the library or have a subscription. And even then, you had to get an issue that actually had it. Remember game magazines? Remember Tips and Tricks? Oh man, I had a subscription to Tips and Tricks one year. I probably still have one around here somewhere. Um, like uh, one of their annual code books, I think I still have one of those. Back then, never did I think that the internet would solve all of my problems. EGM? I'm not sure what EGM is. I want that though. I want that. Oh! The Electronic Gaming Magazine? Is that what that is? EGM? Ah! Electronic Gaming Monthly. I was close. Now I'm, now I'm at that stuck part where I'm not sure which rooms I've checked already and which rooms I haven't. So I'm going to start checking a couple of rooms on repeat as I refresh my memory. It's the kind of backtracking in video games when you're just like, okay, did I check that room already? This is the room where I have to learn how to swim. I don't think there's anything in this room either way, though. So, one of these rooms has the big key room. Ugh, I really need to practice having a really good memory for playing this game. I don't know if you can tell, it's been a long time. This is not one of those games that I play consistently every year. Schedule my annual playthrough of one of my favorite games of all time. Now this is a game that I play like every 10 years. I have some of it memorized, but most of it not. Yeah, every few years. I think um, last time I played this game, I think it was more than 10 years ago. Crazy how time flies like that. Like, um, one good example... Yeah, that's one of the reasons why when I was getting into streaming, somebody was telling me, imagine being old. I'm 32 now, by the way. Um... Somebody was asking me recently about getting an affiliate status on Twitch, and it's like, affiliate status would be nice. Um, but I'm mostly just here to stream video games for when my friends watch. Like, streaming some popular games or whatever would be nice. Get you some more clicks, but I really prefer to just play the games that I'm super familiar with. Stroll down memory lane kind of thing. Is this a small key door?
Where is the small key door? But yeah, there's a few games that I own that I play consistently, like like Metal Gear Solid 1, I play, I think, like one or two times. <laughs> uh, the Tomba, this game, I don't play all that often. There's a couple of games that I'm very fond of that I don't play all that often. But then there's a handful of games that I do play, like... Uh, uh, Metal Gear Solid 1, for example, is a game that I play pretty frequently. Um, I wouldn't say that I play it as often as, like, once every year, but I do play... I do replays of it very frequently. You know why I play it, huh? Were you gonna say something about looking at Meryl's ass? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, there's a small keyhole. Yeah. Oh, there's the last egg. Die, little piggies. Yeah? Well, I mean, you're a Spyro addict. I was, I used to be a Spyro addict back when I was a kid, but I still love those games, but I just, I don't really play them all that much. There are some classic games, like I said, I do go back and play pretty frequently. Like the Mega Man X games and the Metal Gear Solid games are the two games that I think, series that I go back and replay pretty consistently. Yay, 100 year old wise man told me about you. How did he tell you? Are you guys psychic? Maybe I would know the answer to my questions if I actually read some of the dialogue. Give me that key. Give it, bring it, give it, give it here. Give it faster, come on. Thank you. Yeah, I've been on Twitch, I'm not even sure how long, but I've only got, I only really got into streaming just recently. It's mostly just for friends. Okay. Okay, now that I've got the key, time to check all the rooms again. I've, I've been, um... I've been enjoying streaming a bit. It's mostly just now I've actually got an excuse to go back and play all my old games again. Because um, some of my friends don't have access to all of their old games anymore. So it's been like a little memory road thing for me to go back and stream some. Yeah, I still have access to most of my games that I had as a kid. Not all of them, but most of them. It's when I when I played Spyro on my original PS1 disc, there are a lot of scratches on them, so some of the audio would get messed up every now and then. Some of the music wouldn't loop properly.
pigs are here to mock me because I need the fire to... Okay, I really hope that the other piece of the big key is not behind here. Do I need to go farm pigs? Farm pigs, yeah. Just a little bit of pig farming. That reminds me... Have you ever played Minecraft? Yeah, there was one time, um, back in the day, I think it was like, uh, what? Quite, quite a long time ago now. It's, it's, it's kind of hard to grasp that Minecraft is 10 years old now. Um, but way back in the day when there was just, like, uh, new redstone devices coming out. Not what Minecraft is now, but I was making all kinds of redstone machines. And one of the machines that some people really hated was I made a machine I called the pig grinder and it was a bunch of redstone pistons and metal blocks where you would lure a bunch of pigs in and when you turn the thing on it would crush the pigs and then you would collect the pork chops and then I made one that did it for sheep and uh I made a you could probably I, I don't know I'm, I'm kind of scared to name it but I think I called it the Neapolitan machine. Now you know what Neapolitan is, right? Oh, oh, I'm screwed. Yeah, the ice cream. I think Neapolitan refers to the French flag, or some other flag, but uh, Neapolitan ice cream—the strawberry, the chocolate, and the vanilla. And uh, the reason I called it the Neapolitan machine is that you would put cows, pigs, and sheep into it, and it would grind them all up into drops. And I demonstrated it to a friend, and she was horrified. Like, why would you take Minecraft, this peaceful, lovable game, and turn it into this? Whoops, I guess. back here yeah it was a it was a very simple machine I used a I used a redstone pulser whatever you call it that repeats a frequency and then a series of uh, pistons that would crush together when you put a bunch of pigs in it it would crush them the pig grinder okay now I'm having trouble figuring out which room? Arrow launchers. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with the arrow launchers, but um, when when you're in creative mode, you have ac access to those fire charges, so you can make uh, flamethrowers. There's another one I call I called it the weather machine that would just spawn a bunch of ghasts. Yeah. I think uh, a lot of my Minecraft inspiration came from uh, this one Reddit post uh, called the Chicken Cannon where you would stuff a bunch of chickens into a compact space and then open it up with a piston and it would shoot the chickens. Uh, and I figured out if you put like a, a nether rack and set it on fire near the gun barrel of the chicken cannon, all the chickens would shoot out on fire 
and it would rain roast chicken in whatever direction you shot it. And that was one of my first redstone devices that I made for the sake of humor. And I just expanded upon that. I ended up making like the roast beef blaster. Um, and then I started replacing the animals with TNT. <laughs> yeah. The flaming chicken cannon. Okay. I'm curious what's inside of this door again. I forget. Yeah, TNT launchers. I had one. Um, did you ever watch uh, Rooster Teeth playing Minecraft? The um, that one guy Gavin, who uh, was notorious for being a troll during their Rooster Teeth playthroughs. So I made a TNT gun. I called it the Gavin gun because it was a pulser that would just shoot TNT in a sequence in any direction. And then my my redstone devices culminated with my magnum opus, which I called the Ramil. Uh, Ramil is one of the angels from Evangelion, and she's depicted as what is it? A blue octahedron. And the reason I called it the Ramil was because it involved making a pyramid out of water and obsidian. And once you turned it on, it launched TNT in every direction, and a huge spam of TNT. And it would just destroy everything within like a 20 meter radius. I've been meaning to watch uh, Evangelion, but I, I can't watch it on Netflix because I don't like the new dub. And they even changed the subtitles in the new release of it. There's so much stuff that was just removed that it's, I find so weird why they would do that. But yeah, the original DVDs for the original release of Evangelion has changed a lot. Okay, I'm starting to believe I might just need to farm some pigs and get that Firestone. Because uh, what am I even looking for now? I'm trying to get the big key. And I'm worried in order to get the big key, I might need to get the Firestone. Then I don't remember. I don't remember. I need a map. Anime take.tv. Is this going to be something that's going to get, like, put some gunk on my computer? No porn? <laughs> I'll consider it. I'll remember the name. I've, I've been getting very much into the habit of just buying DVDs lately. Not enough experience. I need to kill more pigs. No porn, but what if I want to watch porn? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wait a second. I just realized since the stairway to the haunted forest or mushroom forest is right over here, I can just go over here and get some laughing gas. I'm going to be a little bit annoyed if I have to go through one of those laughing doors to get the big key. Oh, that's exactly what I need. Hooray. Ouch. That was a trap. I'm actually 
actually going to explore a little bit. No! Ah, ah, ah. No, 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 no! Die, little flower. Four fruits of death remain. Mysterious mushroom, yay, that's what I want. Eat this. Healing mushroom. Oh! I don't know, this level's kind of horrifying, isn't it? Thousand-year-old bell. Hmm. Yes, please. So while that's loading, I'm gonna pour myself some more tea. Oh yeah, fun fact. One of the pleasures about turning 30: dealing with liver damage. Yeah, the reason I'm drinking chai tea right now instead of alcohol is because I can't do alcohol anymore. Not until my doctor says it's okay. But, you know, I'm probably going to end up destroying my stomach while I'm going on a low alcohol, low sugar diet. Just means getting old means you get fragile. There's the last piece of the key! Yes! Oh, what's the reason for my liver damage? <laughs> yeah, the reason I've got liver damage is, is because I used to abuse alcohol too much. Yeah. So, um, I guess that's how I know I'm not an alcoholic because once my liver started getting really bad, I was very quick to just completely cut alcohol and sugar out of my diet entirely. And I've been, um, been about a month sober now. So that, there's some good news. There's a silver lining. Yeah. Kinda miss it though. And I would like to just have like a beer or a glass of wine. Because like, uh, yeah, tea, no pun intended, is not quite my cup of tea. I don't mind it though. All right, yeah, give me that big key.
But yeah, right now I'm just drinking some chai. Some chai with some honey in it. I find Earl Grey isn't too bad. Alright, what's inside of this big key door? Okay, good news. I've got the Haunted Mansion finished now. Uh, so aside from the Firestone, I have just about everything else I have to do figured out. Should have eaten the Ordinary Mushroom, but hey, Healing Mushroom's just as good. Uh, now to get the hell out of here. Stormy Mountain. I may as well go back to the Mouse Village. But yeah. You know one thing about green uh, tea is I do like green tea, but when I say green tea, I'm specifically referring to Japanese green tea, matcha. It's really hard to find places that serve matcha. Yeah. I just like the flavor of matcha. It's just, um... Some people confuse matcha with all kinds of green tea, because there's more than one type of green tea. There's this one girl that I know that just likes the flavor of matcha. She drinks it with no sugar, and she drinks it, like, really thick and bitter. I made a joke about uh, going to the... Uh, Japan has a green tea convention where they've got green tea ice cream that comes in different uh, different levels of bitterness and flavor. And I always thought that's just, just pretty great, isn't it? You can get matcha that is almost so pure that it's just like... like pure green tea pulp, almost. Charity ring, that's, that's that's what I wanted, right? Oh, why did I end up here? It's not where I want to go at all. These are the most disturbing plants in the whole game. <laughs> Time for some dangerous jumping. Oh, dangerous jumping! Oh! 
part's real dangerous. <laughs> some of them spit, some of them swallow, too. Oh! Oh, hey, there's a little thing down there. Wow. Yeah, these jumps are difficult. And it's also funny, as like a joke, they give you the Paracel in this level, and the Paracel just makes this level so much harder. But like, you know, joke's on you, you're not supposed to use the Paracel on this level. It's a grapple. Well, hey, that's what I want. Get in there. What's in there? What? That's the exact opposite of what I wanted! What the? Oh my god, did you, did you see that? <laughs> I am impressed by your joke, but I'm not enchanted by it. Well, I've almost killed enough pigs to get that firestone. <sighs> Maybe I'll go back. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, time for dangerous jumping. Time for dangerous. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Oh. <sighs> Feels good. Okay, what's over here? Yay, Red Evil Pig Bag. Also, I'm stuck here. How do I, how do I, how do I, <laughs> Beginner's trap. Because of course, Storm's gotta be going for you to be able to get that thing in the first place. Okay, one last time. dying here. If I get down to like two lives, I'm gonna have to go back. <sighs> I don't even care. I don't even care what's over there. Going inside. Going inside the fire. Oh. Question, the fire pig bag. Ooh, Charles Pants, thank you. The fire pig bag complete. The lava caves. All right. Now, we've got a series of dilemmas to face. I've got the pantaloons of a very horny monkey, whom I've got to go back to now. Okay, but first let's kill some pigs. Piggy. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. It's funny too, is Charles is just like kind of a comic relief character or something who's always in trouble. But he's so much worse in Tomba 2. How does one get themselves stuck inside of a rock? What was he doing to that rock, and how did he get stuck inside of it? There's This rock is moving. It's because there's a monkey inside. Who gets stuck in a rock? And it gets even funnier. The same monkey that got trapped in a rock starts dying from hypochondria. And his first response is, I won't eat a banana unless you bake it first. Jeez, monkey, you really are picky for somebody who's about to die. Okay. I've got four pig bags already. Okay, so let me think here. While I stir up my new cup of tea with fresh honey. Locally grown honey, too. Fun fact about honey. If it doesn't have crystals in it, it's not honey. Because honey is made out of such high contents of sugar, it crystallizes very quickly. So, if you get honey at the store and it doesn't have crystals, means it's not honey. <sighs> Alright, so green bag. That's the fire pig. Storm pig, the red bag. Orange pig. Pink pig. And then the blue pig. So wait, wait, wait. So I've got five. There's seven evil pigs, and I've got five. Hmm, that's a very good point. Yeah, I only just recently started developing allergies. Um, and now that you mention it, drinking tea with local honey in it is actually really helpful for my allergies because it's made from the same pollen and nectar from the local plants. That's, uh, that's pretty interesting. Alright, what was I doing? Gonna use a charity ring. I'm gonna go back to the Village of All Beginnings. Actually, wait a second. I don't have to do that. Yeah. What's up, old guy? Man, so many memories of this game as a kid. It's like I said, how many... Just the graphics, the visuals of this game, it's like a cartoon. It's like a cartoon that you grew up with. There's a lot of RPGs from the PS1 era that I really wish I played when they were new. 
add that to my childhood. to get that plant to fart on a pig and make him turn small, but I don't want to do that. Isn't there a chest up here or something? Oh, there it is. There's a hundred year old bell. Oh, hey. I want that. Oh, I want that. Give me, give me that. Yeah. Ow. Ouch. So much for getting a bigger health bar. Jumping pants. And I'm gonna start using the grapple. Oh, also. Why not use the parasol as well? Yeah. 
Go and get back here. Something's cooking. Now I know. Pigs. Four more. Ooh. Okay, come on, pig. Where'd you go? Looks like pigs are maxed out. Gotta ride one down the hill for good luck. Okay. Whoops. I think it's time for a uh, 1,000 year old bell. There we are. So I'm gonna just start uh, dipping and sipping on this honey here because it's really good honey. I shouldn't be eating it, but. Talk to you. Okay. First things first is I'm going to get that firestone.
All right. There we are. Oh, those pig gates. That's like the biggest, most serious, mind-blowing thing ever. First time playing this game. They're so mysterious and they're so well hidden. easiest pig bosses too. Gotcha, bitch! Also got a wonderful idea. Instead of going directly instead of going directly back to the fire caves. can't use the grappling hook when I've got this thing. It's okay, I don't need it. Two crystal balls acquired. Okay, now on to, what is this, charity fountain? Charcoal fountain? A broken fountain. And the reason I'm here, of course, there it is!
I think I gotta get rid of this parasol now. Also, I think I'm gonna get rid of the Firestone because it's really just the Windstone that I need. Okay. Oh no! Oh! Okay, note to self, I can't go on the spikes. They hurt a lot. Oh, maybe I do need that parasol. So bad at this. I used to be good at this. Okay. Uh oh. Nope. No. Three little words. Get fucked, nerd. All right, no more Stormy Mountain. It's time to proceed. All right. Can I take this? Thank you. Oh, yes. Here's the, uh, <laughs> there's that guy hiding there. Hey, what's up? Okay. Leaf butterflies. I need, like, 20 of them. Oh, hi. Welcome back. Today on the menu is Tomba.
blue powder acquired. I completely forgot what the blue powder is for. Red plus blue. back to the mountain. for the follow. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me of my follow notification. I should really think about having that changed. Yeah, that's uh, that soundbite is from a friend of mine when we were playing Mega Man X4. He was actually pretty upset when he found out that that's what I was using for my follow notification. Because it was very, uh, very context specific. That pig just killed itself. Yeah, yeah, that's a gif of some guy with the eyebrows. But the quote is from when we were playing Mega Man X4. Have you played that game? Uh, there's the boss Cyber Peacock who teleports. And I warned him, like, watch out, he's going to teleport on you, so be careful. And then he teleports behind him and hurts him, and he says, That fucker teleported in me! <laughs> I remember I told him that was probably one of the funniest things he's ever said. And that's why I used that. Cheese acquired. All oh, right, the mouse people like cheese. Get it? Because they're mice. Get it? Did you get it? It's because they're mice. Dashing pants, huh? Oh, I flew into that one by mistake. Yeah, there's a there's a pig portal. Which one is this? What are we here finding? Oh, it's the haunted portal. Yeah. What? 
Yeah, this pig's much more difficult. Ooh. Because his pig bag is actually moving. Ow, that does a lot of damage. Oh, I missed that. Oh. Hold on. I just happen to have a lunch box in my stomach. this better. <sighs> whoops, whoops, whoops. Are those lightning bolts rendered in 3D? Oh, technology. On, I almost had that. I could have had that. I was reckless. My hubris has cost me everything. Gotcha, bitch! Whoops. I got so excited I unplugged the controller. Okay, now to actually explore the caves. How many bunk flowers do I need? I need bunk flowers to debunk the mystery of the cave. Oh, hey, what's up? Thief. Now oh, you're taking off, take care. I need to kill a bunch of these pigs because I actually need the wind stone. Just farm pigs here for a bit so I can get that wind stone because the wind stone is. Oops! No, 
Come on. I actually really want those extra lives, too, because I'm kind of short. Oh, I was going to be very upset if I lost that one. That's why I need that windstone. like vampire pigs or something. No, 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 come on! I call hacks. Boxes. No need to lose a life here. Yummy health regen. Silly pigs in their little silly vampire costumes. This part's funny. Piggies. Oh, 
Don't you love it when there's a segment in a video game where you can just kill a bunch of stuff as a kind of cathartic effigy solution? Just want to blow off some steam. But sadly, there aren't any games on Steam where you can do that. So you go play a PS1 game and you beat up pigs. Box. I really should save some of these things. Those silly flying pigs. Silly because they fly? That was a death trap. All right, last one. Now I just gotta figure out how to get up there. Presto. Where's the windstone? Oh, hacks. Yeah. All right, come on, Phoenix. Let's go for a ride. All right, I'll go back and get it. go for a ride on the Phoenix, but he still drops us in the middle of nowhere. Oh yeah, this is something that's always kind of morbid, is if you fall into those uh, that cage, then they just gang up and they fucking kill you. Yeah, here we go, here's a trap where they fall into the cage! That's why I need the windstone. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, one of these things brings you right into one of these cages. There it is. And they even put fruits there to bait you. Hey, what are you doing hiding here? Yeah, I always thought that was really morbid when I watched this as a kid, and it's just like they just they just come out of nowhere and they just kill you. Oh hey, bananas. Bananas are Oh, wait, yeah, this is the part when, uh, in order for the monkey to teach you how to swim. Okay, so let me think here. I do remember one of the ki one of the pig bait, pig baits, one of the pig gates is here somewhere. Uh, but I don't remember which one. And I haven't made it to the, uh, water city yet. Find Charles. All right, don't I give this guy bananas? Yeah, so, uh, fun fact. Banana juice. There's, um, no such thing. There's a banana smoothie. There's a banana paste. Uh, I don't know how you juice a banana, but if you do juice a banana, it's not done by squeezing it. Wow, I'm drowning. I can't swim, but the monkey can. <laughs> Miner's hat. Okay. I just gotta think to myself. Uh. Huh. Oh, yeah, I remember this level. I can't go that way. Gotta go up to the clock tower. Look at these graphics. I got nostalgia. Squeeze these bananas for me, strong man. Real tight squeeze. Somebody could make a gif of this. Without context. What does it look like he's doing here? Because if your first guess is not banana smoothie... Yeah, you juice those bananas, big boy. Rumor has it there's a big strong man in the clock tower who will juice your banana, whatever that means. Oh, f fuck. <laughs> what the hell, Automod? Yeah, post that shit.
I don't even know what it was that the auto mod was trying to block. But, uh, permitted term. Abba. Abba. What the hell is Abba? Is that, is that a slur? You typed a banana and it, it read Abba and it was just like, oh, yeah, what the fuck is Abba? Is that a slur that I've never heard of? Thank you, Brobot, for blocking it. rocks and soda make your stomach blow up, you know? Okay. Alright, so... Hmm. You pump those rocks and you juice my banana. Charity wings. Where are they? Did I use them all? No. Did I use all my charity wings? Or am I just bad at reading? Oh, there it is. I'm gonna go to the, uh, the dwarf village. Because the ears are really big. Okay. Take take a moment. This woman right here. Sound logic. See that dog? He's got really big ears. Maybe he can fly. It's like, yeah, sure. Is she serious? 
But I mean, of course she's serious. Something that makes him feel he's special, you know. Baron strength. Just wait for him to get the strength back. Stop by again. Make sure Baron would like to see you again soon. Have you been to the beach behind the mansion, the village, all beginnings, or the wash and shore? Seaweed is supposed to be really good for you. Oh yeah. Okay, so... Alright, so next priority. I've got a couple of things I can do next. Clearly Tamba is very enthusiastic about the next goal. Okay. Alright, so I think... I'm gonna use a charity wing and I'm gonna go to... Lava Caves. Actually, wait. Phoenix Nest! Yes! 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 That's where I'm going to find the Wind Crystal. <laughs> Jewel of the Wind. This is the best one because it allows you to double jump. No worries. Yeah, it's pretty late. I should probably end off the stream up here pretty soon. I've been streaming for like two and a half hours now. I'm surprised you were able to find a place like this. Welcome to the Hidden Village. Built on top of a volcano, I see. There was a quest up there, but um, my next priority is getting out of these caves for one. If I can figure out how to get down, 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 down. there a guy here who is like fungi and I'm like fung you uh, 
where was that guy? Where was the fun guy guy? Where's the mouse pig, for that matter? Did I just go into a death trap? I did, didn't I? Yeah, there's nothing here for me to land on. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh, that was my own fault. Whoops. Back here. Holy hell. Okay. Well, the good news is this is sort of good news. No, it's not good news. Oh, wait. Now I remember. I don't have the... I don't have, I don't have the... Alright, now I remember where the fun guy guy was. He was up here. Funga drum. Right, what was he hiding? Moss. Oh, molasses. Cool. Yeah, that's right. I want to go back to the um, the jungle of mystery, the mushroom forest. Yeah, the mushroom forest. Only blue powder, too. Come on.
Flash, that was like a light gun game flash. Baron's strength complete. And a oh, Baron acquired. And I think that's a good note to end on for the night. Alright, I'm gonna save my game. Thank you for watching. Not enough space! Come on! Don't tease me like that. Oh yeah, spoiler warning, I'm playing on a PlayStation 3 right now. Why Crossing? I've already played before? What? Man, this was a... Uh, <laughs> 424. This was before you could have the date saved on your memory card, but you could have the time of day. I guess I'm gonna overwrite. Why Crossing? Eight, level five. Yeah. Yeah, I was much further into the game. Wow. All right. Thank you for watching. Tune in next time. Same bat time, same bat station. <laughs>